on guys, welcome back to 100% and UFC, I hope you're all doing really well. Now Newcastle United's under 23s take on FC Portal B team in the Premier League International Cup semi-final. It's a massive game at St James's Park as you've seen in the title, yes. Please get along, please offer your support to the under 23s, it's a cheap game. If you're a season ticket holder, you'll most likely get in for free. But if you are an adult, it's £3 and its concessions are a pound, so it's very cheap. It's a European night for the young lads. Yes, it's not the Europa League, and yes, it's not the Champions League, but the under-23s, yes, they're not doing so well in the Premier League too, but to get this far in the semi-finals against FC Porto B team is a massive achievement. The odds are stacked against us. We're not expected to win this game. You know, FC Porto are the defending champions of the Premier League International Cup. Uh, they beat Sunderland 5-0 at the Stadium of Light. Uh, Sunderland, for me, have got a better academy than us, but to see them get be 5-0 in their own backyard off Porto in the final last season... Uh, just goes to show how good they are. You know, their manager, you must well drill them. You know, a lot of the FC Porto B players actually play in FC Porto's first team. I've seen a lot of them make first team appearances as I do watch a lot of Portuguese football as well as Newcastle. I do also see them uh, play in the Champions League and they've also played in the Portuguese Cup as well. Uh, so they come with experience. You know, FC Porto uh, beat Liverpool uh, last time out to get this far in the semi-finals against us at St James's Park. You know, Liverpool... We're also in Newcastle's group. We fought off the legs of PSV at Whitley Park. You know, we finished runners-up to Liverpool as Liverpool won the air group uh, to process further. Uh, Newcastle also beat the legs of rivals Sunderland uh, at the Stadium of Life. Fantastic uh, uh, match it was to watch. You know, it finished 11-10 in Newcastle on a penalty shootout and we've made it this far. You know, and to even beat Sunderland, who, for me, have got a better academy than us, uh, speaks volumes. OK, we're not brilliant. You know, Peter Bielsi, is he's, he's got his alleged situation, but... You know, we've really stuck to our task in terms of the Cups. Yes, we've got to improve uh, in the under-23s uh, Premier League Division 2. But, you know, put that aside. You know, let's enjoy uh, Thursday night. And let's try and get a few thousand through the door. Because, you know, with your support, anything is possible. And if you can get behind the lads, you know, the lads will surely deliver. If we get beat, OK, it's expected. We're not expected to get a result. But you just never know. You know, if you get behind them, you know, we can take the extra time off and win. It, it's brilliant because it means they're in the final against the likes of... Villarreal or Arsenal, who also play in the opposite semi-final as well. So, you know, there's players to watch out for for Newcastle. Victor Fernandez, we all know what he's about. Uh, he's a definitely a Spanish pacey winger who's got pace, skill, trickery. He can make something happen. Yes, he's had his odd, you know, bad game in the under 23s, but a lot of them have underperformed in the under 23s Premier League. But, you know, he's someone who Rafa Benitez hopefully should have a look at in the summer to try and kick on his career because he's definitely a hot prospect. You know, there will be other clubs looking in for him. You know, if we don't uh, train him properly or if he just doesn't have a look in the first team. Also, the likes of Luke Charman, the striker, you know, he's definitely another hot prospect for Newcastle. He's been banging in the goals as well, so someone to watch out for on Thursday. And it's good just to watch the, the stars of the future. Uh, that's what it's about, you know, and to see these lads hopefully uh, progress further and try and get into the first team. Oh, a lot of them have been told that they're not going to be getting their contracts renewed, but one or two or three that I've mentioned there, hopefully you should see in the first team in the next year, two years to come. It's going to be a big game. I will be there. I will be vlogging it, a little mini match day experience for you guys. That would be out on Thursday night as the game kicks off this Thursday at 7 o'clock at St. James's Park. This Thursday, 7 o'clock at St. James's Park. Come along, watch. I'll be there. And hopefully a few thousand fans there. Back in the lads, there'll be a few Porto fans, I believe, will be there as well uh, to watch the game. And watching a few clips back at Porto last season and watching a few this season, they are a good team uh, you know, to, to watch as well. So hopefully you should be entertained on Thursday, hoping that we can somehow get a result. And anyway, if you're new around here, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to 100% NUFC for regular NUFC content. If you're a Newcastle fan, any fan watching, you're more than welcome on this channel as well. Also follow me on social media as I'm on Twitter at 100% NUFC and also on Instagram at 100% NUFC. So go and drop us a follow on there as well to keep up to date with this channel as well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to do the following. How are the lads? See you later. Yeah. Oh, it's a